Hello everyone, this is Santa Duck 2, and welcome to another Fabric Mod Overview, this time on Staff Z, a mod that adds a bunch of food as well as other particular recipes. So, let me just go to the following here, you can see a ton of different options, like so. I'll just keep that like that for now. So we'll start off with the trident stick, which is just prismarine shards around a stick. And from there, if you have a trident head, which is nether quartz and a shiny diamond, which is just four diamonds, you can then make a trident. Other than that, there is spelt bread, which you can make from spelt. I'm assuming it's said in a very particular way, I'm just going to say it how I um, understand, at least, um, of the word, typically. Uh, but you can make, obviously, dough with wheat and water to then make the bread if you don't have access to this, which you probably would from breaking grass to get seeds, typically. Uh, which we'll see what our chances are with seed right here. If we get lucky, that is. Probably not, but who knows. We should maybe be all wheat seeds for the most part, but yeah, nothing. Um, not sure if they're also in certain other structures at all though. Um, I haven't come across that, and there's no config, so I can't really tell. So my guess is that it'll be with um, obviously grass or so. Other than that though, we have cactus fruit, which is just cactus in your crafting bench to get cactus fruit. And we'll obviously eat all of these at the end. Uh, you've got carrot pie, which is just an egg, wheat, and carrot. You've got a chocolate bar, which is two cocoa beans, a milk bucket, and two sugar. The dough we've already covered. We've got blaze soup, which is two blaze powder, milk, and a bowl. Got melon stew, which is three melons and a bowl. Nether wart stew being sugar, two nether wart and a bowl. Red velvet cake slices are made from wheat, beetroot, and egg. I don't think you can use those to form a cake, it's just what it is. It's just an item. You've got nuts, which I'm assuming you can probably find from another tree, or plant, or um, grass. For the most part I'm assuming grass or another structure. Again, not really too sure. Um, hops should be possibly the same, which obviously you can use alongside malt or dark malt to make beer and dark beer, alongside an uncraftable potion. So I'm assuming that may just be um, a water bottle or some other type of potion. Um, and then we've just got hop seeds. So, we'll go through each one of these after I apply the hunger effects and also use a hoe on the seeds and see their growth stages. Just in case. So. Should be fine. And we'll remove that. Also. So we'll start from left to right. We'll go with the red velvet cake slice. So a fair bit more there. Cactus fruit gives probably a little bit. Carrot pie giving us a fair amount. Wait for that to go down. Even though we try and refill our health a bit. We've got the chocolate bar, which gives us. Oop, didn't hold it down long enough. Two. The dove itself obviously can't be used, it has to be put into a furnace or something else. Play soup, which gives you fire resistance for a fair amount of time instead of food. Just remove that just in case we don't cross over other 
possibilities of potion effects if there is any. Melon Stew, which gives you regeneration for 5 seconds. Netherworld Stew, which gives you strength for 19 or 20 seconds. And then we'll try the beer and dark beer. And the spell obviously is only just for that. So, uh, we'll try hops, which on the side obviously can't be eaten. Just wanted to make sure. Um, so the beer will give you. Sure. Unless there's a chance it gives you something, rather than just always being accurate. Unless it gives you saturation or something. Or, um, uh, I can't remember what the other one is. Might do that instead, rather than giving you food or a potion effect. Might be the same for that as well. Um, unless they're just a work in progress, but for the most part it seems like it's just that they are... Um, mostly used for um, saturation or otherwise rather than fulfilling hunger, but that's just my guess. Um, not too sure. Can't eat the malt seeds, can't plant them. Okay. Um, other than that though, you can make slime balls with honeycombs, uncraftable potions, so probably just water bottles or other potions clay balls and bone meal, and you get one slime ball, so if you're struggling to find them at all, you can do that. You can make leather with rotten flesh, which takes 60 seconds, compared to I think the rotten flesh to leather mod for fabric, which is 50. Um, other than that, I'm pretty sure there is a few recipes for armor, so for example, if we go with diamond for example, we can convert that back to its original, I'm pretty sure it's added by the mod. I'll try with some of these. So they're all... yeah, so you can tell that it's not just the nuggets which you typically would be getting. So you're getting ingots back. What you would typically be using to make some of this stuff. Um, it doesn't apply to obviously the um, horse armor, but it does too many of the armor types there. We'll try something like chain as well and see. No. So, not the case for that. Leather armor, possibly as well. So, instead of just getting a nugget back, you're obviously getting ingots. Otherwise, though, I think that is about it. I'm pretty sure that covers everything. Um. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye. Um, obviously I can't forget the Eagle stages as well, which obviously they're not rendered properly, uh, which Farmcraft had the same issue, but uh, it apparently worked itself out afterwards, which I came across, which was interesting. Because I didn't even have to do anything with it once it updated, so... Yeah. And this is definitely 115, so... So that obviously gave us nuts. Some of these don't want to work alongside each other, it seems. So we get hop and the seeds. You get more malt seeds. You get a fair amount of nuts from the following here. And with this, we just got some of the spelt, or whatever it's actually supposed to be called that I'm pronouncing incorrectly. Thanks so much for watching though, and goodbye!